Bamboo Labs printers really struggle with the top surfaces of spheres. Let's take a look at a feature that will take it from looking like this to looking like this. All right, so we've hopped into Bamboo Studios and the feature that we're going to look at is variable layer height. So like the name implies, it allows you to vary the layer height as you go through your model here. So I've already got this sliced at default settings and we can preview that. And you can see like the prints that I showed you earlier, there's these rings as you approach the top and it makes for a print that doesn't look that great on the top layers or at the top of the sphere. And we're gonna try and mitigate that a little bit. So I'm gonna hop back into prepare. I'm gonna hit that variable layer height and I wanna go all the way on the slider towards quality for this one and click adaptive. So now you can see it's applied that automatically to increase the quality at the top and make it lower at the bottom. You can also control this using this side panel here where you can actually push the line to make everything a smaller or a larger layer height. And you achieve that by clicking the left mouse to make it a smaller layer height and the right mouse to make it a larger layer height. Or you can go back and do the adaptive here and it'll automatically assign those layer heights for you. The other option is here just to smooth out the transitions. So if you have some sharp transitions that you've added in here at random spots, you can smooth that out a little bit and you can see it start to flatten those lines to make the transition between the layers not so funky. But we'll go back to adaptive here and we'll see what that looks like when you slice it. And so now when we slice that, we can see nicer top surface there where these lines and these rings are a little bit closer together. You're still gonna get that flat spot on the top, um, but it does look a lot better than it did before. And for comparison, we'll jump over to this other plate that I've already sliced and you can see that on the left is before doing the variable height and you got all those rings on the top surface here and on the right is after doing the variable height and you, it looks a lot better than the, the one on the left here here's a look at those two parts printed out side by side you can see that the one on the left has a very distinct top layer to it and the one on the right has a slightly less visible end to the sphere. I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next one.